Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I will be doing another Roblox Studio video. And just a disclaimer for all the fans of Roblox Studio. I probably will not be doing a tutorial for a while. I'm just going to explain how I made the games I made. And today's episode is about Cookie Ball, my latest game when this was published. I'm also just about to create a new game, so I might make a video about that too. But let's just focus on Cookie Ball. So, yeah, you might remember from my Roblox on this that basically you got a dodgeball and you had to throw it. Pretty much that was it. So, yeah. In this video, I will show you how I made that, all of that, you know. And this one actually, I think, is the game, one of my games with the least parts. Like, it doesn't have that much in it. Although, it's still an amazing game, to me, at least. So, anyways, you may not have realized there is something under this water. And this is the lobby. Um, really, this is just nothing nothing yeah this is nothing so i kind of confused that last sentence this is just so i could get a specific script that i needed and yeah i'll i'll explain everything and how i made it so first i made the lobby there's like a jump base plate i made the lobby just like this i made the decals and yeah i will go into details soon so basically i made the lobby and then I use the regions tool, which is like this, and then you can just fill it with whatever you want. And then you can also sort that same reason, not 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 reason, region. You can select that same area I think I'm gonna start saying area because it's easier to say so yeah I can select the same area and I did not mean to that I meant to fill with air hold on yeah I'm kinda new to this regions thing I just figured out about it just a bit ago so you know I'm pretty sure I know how to do this so I need to Delete. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of it. And I need to. Okay, that did nothing. I didn't. Okay. And. Okay, th there. All the water is gone now. So, basically, I used that tool to make this little island right here. And then I just started going crazy with it and added water everywhere. So it's kind of like an abandoned island, you know. Like, if you're standing here, it just looks like an abandoned island. So, what I did is you spawn right here. I got lucky first time, and it was the right orientation. Otherwise, I would probably get super angry and just be switching this all over the place. But anyways, luckily, it is the right orientation. And then I made it so if you step on this pad it will teleport you to right here and also give you this dodgeball right here as I'm going to demonstrate so I am going to start up the game as you can see right orientation anyways if you haven't seen my newest Roblox look tell me how you like the cape in the description but anyways I'm going to the blue blasters and I have a dodgeball. And a script in the dodgeball just makes a dodgeball blue if I'm on the blue team, which I'll explain in a bit. So also, what I did is whenever you step on this, one of these scripts, I hope I choose the right script. Yeah, this, this script right here if you can see it, I'm sorry if you can't. Last time I tried to show a script, it just went crazy. The screen went crazy. So if the screen is going crazy right now, then I'm so sorry. It just the, the recorder I have. I'll, uh, 
I'll try again. Uh, yeah, I'm just confusing my sentences. Say, I just woke up a little bit ago, so if I'm making no sense, well, yeah, you know why. <laughs> Anyways, so this script right here, I hope it's showing, but this script right here will make it so when I touch it, it will put me on the blue team even though it doesn't show it. And then the dodgeball has a script which will make it the color of my team, which is really blue. And on the opposite side, it is just really red. So, yeah. Um, I think that's really all to explain. I just use a basic paint software to make all these decals that I did. And also the art at the front, you know, that, that, that thumbnail. There we go. Thumbnail. Yeah, I made that too. Yeah, I'm just calling it fan art because I'm my only fan. Hashtag forever alone. But anyways. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention one more thing. So I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. So I'll just go to the blue blasters just because. So yeah, I have a dodgeball. I'm throwing it. And you're wondering why it's deflecting off kind of like surfaces. Like it's like bouncing in midair. Well, that's because there are transparent walls here. Now I did leave a couple spaces to throw the dodgeball through which I expect people to throw them through, like, right in front of them. But if you go a bit too high, well, there we go. So, yeah, there's a wall right there. And what these walls do is, if you saw my tutorial on a kill script, I'm sorry to the viewers who actually wanted to make it themselves. Really, I only just made a script for it, but... Yeah, the the same script problem which I described before. It, it, it just doesn't show, so... Yeah, it was just weird, so I just had to redo the whole video, and... Yeah, it was just confusing. But anyways, yeah. I put the popcorn kill script in these invisible walls, so if anyone crosses it, like RRU did in... Sorry, I'm just confusing myself. Like RRU did in the video, you die. Which is technically just what happens. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I have to show. Yeah, I did I did everything. Except for these walls right here. All you need to do is make a brick and then put a bit of transparency on it. And then, well, yeah, now you can see through it. But anyways, that will be the end of this episode. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up or subscribe. It helps a lot. And goodbye. And have a cookie day.